Hey YouTube, this is an update on my Windy Nation sealed lead acid AGM battery that I bought to double the capacity of my Goal Zero Yeti 1250 and which I managed to tighten too tight and break the brass terminal off the top of the battery, rendering it pretty much useless. But I have a friend who managed to fix this for me and I'm going to show you how he did that because you might have to do that yourself. My battery came with no warnings whatsoever on how tight to tighten it or not tighten it. I just find it crazy that it's so easy to break this terminal off. And it takes some special tools in order to fix this. And so here's how we did it. So fortunately my friend had a drill press and we first wrote to Windy Nation and asked them how deep can we drill into this terminal. And they wrote back pretty quickly and said that we could go 3 eighths of an inch deep. So my friend here is measuring 3 eighths of an inch deep and then this is just a starter drill, yep. just to try to get up somewhere near a location for the center of that, you know? Yep. What he did is first drill a starter hole with a smaller diameter drill bit. So that's how he drilled the first hole, very slowly, very meticulously. Then he switched to a quarter inch drill bit which he said was the proper size to tap a 5 16 hole, which is what he's doing right here. Mm -hmm. So now he's got this 5 16 tap that is putting threads into the terminal. So what he would do is screw in a little bit, back it off, screw in a little bit more, back it off, and he kept doing that the whole time. And I guess that's the way you go about tapping something. And then you clean it up and put some more WD-40 in and start all over. And this took a while, but he slowly tapped the hole way down to the three-eighths of an inch mark. Then what he had already done was he found a 5 16 bolt and cut it off, cut the head off of it, and then he used the two nuts that came with the battery and cinched them together and then used them to screw the cutoff bolt into the terminals. And the finished product on the left looks almost identical to the one on the right, except for it's a little bit longer. Alrighty now, I am going to put this cable back on the Windy Nation battery and try not to strip it. The last time all I used was a small wrench like that and I tightened it up obviously too tight. So, so before I hook this up I'm going to figure out with this attached to the Goal Zero what is the best orientation for this battery that will put the least amount of stress on those stupid terminals. And it looks like if I were to do this, have it loop around here and have the red on the left and the black on the right, I would be better off. So I am going to spin the battery around from the way I have it and do the install. So now I have these attached and hand tightened as tight as I could tighten them with by my hand and I am just going to barely cinch this up with this wrench maybe like that much like that much that's hardly tightening but I'm so paranoid these stupid terminals are going to break off I'm just going to very loosely tighten these with just a finger. One tiny bit more here. So hopefully those won't come undone and yet won't break off. So here it is installed and strapped down. I found this battery on Amazon.com and I'll put a link to it in the description but I actually bought it off of the WindyNation.com website because I don't have to pay sales tax and they had free shipping. If I bought it off Amazon, I would have had to pay sales tax. This is an ideal battery for the Goal Zero Yeti 1250. 100 amp hour, D 
deep cycle uh, AGM sealed lead acid 12 volt battery. I went all over Pittsfield, Massachusetts trying to find one and could not find any. I did get one price from Interstate Battery of over $300 for one of these. So 185 shipped to your door was pretty awesome. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you have good luck if you buy this battery and don't strip the terminals. Oh, I will also include a link to the PDF that they sent me that says do not tighten these more than 85 to 95 inch pounds, whatever that is. I don't think I tightened them hard much at all, but it broke right off, so be careful. Thanks for watching.